Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy to attend this very important uh, conference. I'm happy to share some information about Chinese policy on the clean energy and the research activity in the China. So this is my outline this afternoon, some information about uh, challenger energy structure and the strategic uh, policies in China and also the research activities in Chinese, uh, particularly in Chinese Academy of Science. You know, uh, in China, China is, uh, is a big country. We have an unbalanced energy structure. We are rich relatively in coal, but we are very poor in oil and gas. Currently, the coal still dominant the China's energy markets. You can find the energy structure and the, also the energy consumption structure. It's very clear. And also, we are facing a very big challenge for blue sky because the air pollution for China's industrial uh, energy uh, revolution. And also, of course, uh, the global climate change is a very big issue, not only uh, to China, but also to all the world. So, in facing uh, such kind of uh, problems, uh, what's our uh, 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 strategy in China for the energy technology? Here, i show you some information. Uh, from our top leader, they are uh, uh, initiate uh, some four uh, revolutions about energy. We called energy consumption, energy production, uh, and also uh, energy technology revolution, energy system revolution, and also we pay much attention to the international cooperation. Among all the four revolutions, uh, uh, we believe the energy technology revolutions uh, play a very important role, uh, will be the core issues for such kind of uh, uh, energy revolution. So, uh, after uh, our top leader make uh, such kind of uh, decision, you can find uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, national energy plans uh, in China uh, for such kind of challenges. And also we um, set up the targets for 2020 and also uh, 2000, uh, uh, 2030 and uh, also 2050. You can um, find some information. In 2020, uh, we will share non <coughs> excuse me. We will share the non-fossil fuel about 15 percent. And in 2030, uh, we are, uh, have a, a non-fossil fuel uh, more than 20 percent. Uh, finally, in 2050, the non-fossil energy will be uh, higher than 50%. This is a very uh, big uh, target for China because, you know, China is so, the market is so, so big. So 50% 50, 50 is a very high target for China. And also, the energy efficiency will be, you know, uh, uh, increased quickly because uh, uh, we need to decrease the carbon dioxide uh, carbon dioxide uh, per GDP. So we, uh, the central government, uh, uh, initiated several big projects for the clean energy research. For example, there are some research programs for oil, gas, uh, nuclear power, and also some fundamental research we call national basic research program and also the National High Technology Research and Develop Program. And also recently, we have some national key research development uh, 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 initiatives for the clean energy. So uh, in the, my, uh, uh, the last part, I would like to uh, show you some information about uh, recent research uh, development activities on energy technology uh, in China. 
in particularly uh, uh, from the Chinese Academy of Science. Here, uh, this is uh, some we call uh, uh, new projects from Chinese Academy of Science we call uh, uh, CAS, Strategic Priority Research Program. This is uh, the, uh, uh, about 1.6 billion uh, Chinese yuan uh, for the, such kind of new projects. And uh, this is uh, some uh, problem for, uh, for, 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 for the energy structure in China. You know, we, we, we do have some coal, oil, gas, and renewable energy, and even new nuclear energy in China, but they are currently isolated. There is not some uh, uh, very close combination. So in our program, we wanted to integrate all this uh, energy system together to get a more efficient energy structure in China. And uh, here, uh, the priority, because I mentioned to you, in China, now the uh, fossil energy, particularly the coal, still the main energy source. So we are still paying much attention to the clean utilization of fossil energy. And the second part, we, of course, we pay more attention to the clean energy in the future. And uh, the third part in our, per, uh, in our program, we pay particular attention to the liquid sunshine. We, we try to combine uh, the fossil energy and the clean energy together to make a bridge between the two kinds of energy we call the liquid sunshine. Uh, later, I will give more information about the Liquid Sunshine Program. Here, I show uh, you some uh, our targets for the Route 1. We call clean utilization of fossil energy. You can find the goals uh, uh, for such kind of program. And also, this is the clean utilization of fossil energy. And also, this is our uh, goals for renewable energy we were uh, pay much attention to some breakthrough for the key technology and the demonstration for the renewable energy. Uh, you can find more detailed information about our major task. And also the third uh, one we call the liquid sunshine technology. We try to couple carbon dioxide with the massive hydrogen produced by solar and the nuclear energy bridge the uh, clean utilization, fossil energy, and the renewable energy together. This is uh, uh, one of our uh, uh, main issues uh, in the future for uh, such kind of uh, new technology. And uh, you can find more information about liquid sunshine. Uh, we have published uh, uh, a new paper uh, in this year in your uh, the first author, uh, Professor Shi, also in the room. <laughs> he was the president of National, Science, uh, National University of Singapore and also the founder, uh, president of uh, CAST in Saudi Arabia. Now he moved to uh, 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 Chinese Academy of Science uh, uh, for such kind of clean energy program. And you can find uh, our targets in the future is liquid sunshine. We try to use the uh, absolutely uh, new uh, clean energy to produce the liquid uh, fuel for the five generation clean energy. This is uh, very important to use the green alcohol, particularly the methanol and, uh, and ethanol as the energy carrier. And uh, some uh, typical breakthrough I would like to show you uh, uh, what happened in the Chinese Academy of Science. This is some breakthrough about fossil energy uh, utilization. This is a new program, uh, uh, the new conversion, new, new process uh, uh, of machine, uh, co convert machine to olefin and aromatics. And also this is some new process uh, to use uh, oxide and zeolite to convert syn gas uh, to light olefin and uh, from syn gas to ethylene, from syn gas to aromatics. And also we have uh, some uh, uh, very big commercialization process from methanol to olefin. 
this is a very big projects in China. Uh, we have commercialized such kind of new technology in China for more than 20 companies. And also we uh, have uh, uh, launched the world first uh, call to ethanol demonstration in China. And also uh, uh, this is some uh, 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 industrialization, commercialization from coal to liquids uh, fuel. This is, uh, I think it's one of the, uh, it's the biggest manufacturer in the world uh, from the coal to liquid uh, fuel. Okay, we are not paying uh, pay much attention to the uh, fossil energy, but also to uh, pay much attention to the carbon dioxide conversion because this is very important to the uh, environment. And uh, here is some fundamental uh, breakthrough. Uh, this is some new concept for single atom catalysis and also how to use a single atom to produce a uh, uh, format acid from carbon dioxide and also uh, direct conversion of carbon dioxide to aromatics and to olefin to liquid fuel. Uh, to liquid fuel. And also this is some first solar power tower in Asia. And also this is some wind energy utilization demonstration. And also uh, we have also some biomass conversion uh, demonstration in China. And, uh, and also we have uh, energy storage. This is a uh, flow battery and also compressed iron energy storage. This is a, a, a very big uh, facility in the south part of China. And also, I, sh I would like to share you some information. China has a very successful uh, demonstration how to use renewable energy for whole province. You know, China is very big. The, the Qinghai province is the remote area. It's the west part of China. You can find the error is about uh, uh, eight time Portugal. <laughs> it's uh, about 10%, uh, you know, the, the whole area of China. And also the population is almost uh, more than half uh, Portugal. So th th this whole area, we use uh, renewable energy uh, demonstration for nine days, reduce uh, a lot of carbon dioxide. And also in the future, we will uh, make another demonstration uh, in the Beijing Olympic Games for Winter Olympic Games 2022, we tried to use 100% renewable energy to, for the demonstration during the uh, 2022 Winter Olympic Games. It's not very far from Beijing. It's about uh, uh, now we have a fast train from Beijing to that uh, location. It's about 20 minutes. So. After such kind of program, you can find that China is now the largest renewable market on the world. And also China uh, make a commitment. Uh, by 2030, the carbon dioxide emission, they will reach the peak and the carbon uh, dioxide emission per GDP reduce will be about 60%. 60% compared with 2005, and non-fossil share will be more than 20%. So I just adopt a, a newspaper news, a, a news from the, uh, the newspaper. This is uh, uh, from Michael. Uh, this is consultant Obama, President Obama. You can find the four years after declared the war on the pollution, China is the winner you know, from New York Times. And uh, finally, I would like to give you my summary, the energy and environment protection, the climate change is a global issues which need extensive international cooperation. And China has taken effective, uh, efficient measure to tackle the problems. China is not always a competitor is also a good partner for all the global issues. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.